Science 6, Quarter 2, Module 1. Lesson 1. The Skeletal System. Learning is fun with K-12 lessons. Don't forget to subscribe! The human body is made up of different kinds of bones. These bones are called skeleton. The human skeleton is the internal framework of the body. The adult human skeleton consists of 206 bones that are connected to one another by ligaments. At birth, infants have around 300 bones fused together when they become adults. These bones work together as a system called a skeletal system. The skeletal system serves as the framework of the body. Its major functions are body support, facilitation of movement, protection of internal organs, storage of minerals and fats, and blood cell formation. The skeletal system is mainly composed of bones which are classified into two divisions, the axial and the appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton includes the skull, vertebral column, ribs, and sternum. These bones form the axis or framework of the trunk and head. The appendicular skeleton includes the bones of the shoulder, arms, hands, hips, legs, and feet. Classification of bones Long bones Limbs like arms and legs Short bones Wrist and ankles Flat bones Shoulder blades and skull Irregular bones Face and vertebrae One of the axial skeletons is the skull which consists of cranium and facial bones. The cranium is made up of eight bones joined together to form a rigid case that protects the brain. The face is made up of 14 facial bones. The eye socket protects the eyeball while mandible or jawbone is movable bone that holds the teeth. The spinal column or vertebrae are irregular bones that protect the spinal cord. While the rib cage protects the lungs and the heart. Vertebrae are arranged on top of the other and move over each other slightly. There are 33 vertebrae in the spinal column of a child and 26 in an adult. This is so because as the child grows, the last seven bones join together to form just two bones. Ribs are the bones at the side of the chest. There are 12 pairs of ribs. The upper seven pairs are the true ribs because they are connected to the breastbone, and the last two pairs are not connected. These ribs are called floating ribs. The shoulder has the collarbone found in front of it. Scapula is the shoulder bone found at the back of your shoulder. The appendages found in the lower extremities are composed of pelvic bones. Pelvic bones support the lower parts of the body and aid the movement of the legs. The upper arms have one long bone called the humerus. And two bones in the lower arm are known as the radius and ulna. Radius or radial bone is one of the two large bones of the forearm. The other bone is the ulna. The ulna is usually slightly longer than the radius while the latter is usually thicker. 
The wrist connects the hand to the forearm. Each wrist or carpal consists of eight bones. The palm or metacarpal has five bones. Inside the bones are bone marrows that are very important for the body to manufacture blood cells. Bone marrows are of two types, the red bone marrow and the yellow bone marrow. The red bone marrow is found in the humerus, femur, pelvis and vertebrae. While the yellow bone marrow is found in many other bones. The human skeletal system has several important functions. Support. The skeletal system provides the framework which supports and maintains shape of the body. It gives the body much needed support. Protection. The skeletal system protects the internal organ of the body. Movement. The skeletal system provides an attachment for the muscle which makes body movements possible. Storage and supply. The skeletal system stores important minerals like calcium and phosphorus and produces both red and white blood cells. Thanks for watching!